Hey, y'all. Hey, Jacqueline. I should have checked some before I did this. Hold on, y'all. Okay. <sighs> hey, y'all. Hey, Bernadette. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Ann. So, y'all, here go that buy one, get one chicken. But I'm going to use this pack because these are smaller. So, y'all know the buy one, get one, you got to pay the higher price. So, this one was cheaper. But, of course, the legs. Well, I'm going to go through both. Let me see. I don't want to open both packs. The kids are really going to eat their fried chicken. Hi, Terry. Hi, Sylvia. All right. So, let me put one of these away. Let me see which one I... These actually look small. It's just more of them in it. Let me know what y'all cook today. If you're cooking, um, we gotta get our meat on. So today on the menu, you all, I'm gonna make ribs, I'm gonna make some chicken, and I'm going to make some collard greens. I am gonna pressure cook the collard greens. Hey, Maggie dear. And um, hey, Cass. Hey, Nakila. If I said your name wrong, wrong I'm sorry. I want to do collard greens. I want to do macaroni and cheese. And then we're going to do some ribs and chicken. So this is going to be a lengthy one. Or I may get off and come back. It just depends. I'm going to just go with whatever flow, how I feel. Um, so yeah, we're going to start by putting on our smoked meat. When I do the pressure cooked greens, that's what I do first. So I got some smoke. These are smoked neck bones. But you can use whatever meat you like. Sometimes I do turkey. Sometimes I do pork. Ooh, Shanika said fried catfish mac and cheese. Okay, now. Girl. Girl, we need to come to your house. Okay, y'all. Let me get my thing on. Let me get my thing on. Because she is doing it. I got my regular macaroni. <laughs> you made my chicken and noodles. I'm going to put this hair back. Or up, rather. We gonna do fried chicken, okay? Because people be asking me about the fried chicken and I want you all to see me cook it. Because you can make the fried chicken. It's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be done, of course. <laughs> Some of y'all, something else. <laughs> I've been cooking over 30 years. I've been cooking over 30 years. So if I say it take eight piece, eight minutes to cook a piece of chicken, it take eight minutes to cook a piece of chicken. And not only have I been cooking over 30 years, but I have fed thousands upon thousands upon thousands. And not a soul has ever gotten sick. So I don't like dried out meat. I like to cook mine right until it's done and then that's it. Because it still cooks even when you're done. Um, am I gonna use this? Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I guess I should have been prepared. I have nowhere to put this oil, so we're gonna have to rock it like this. Pour that into there. I have a certain way that I discard my oil, so we're gonna use the deep fryer today. I do recommend that you grab a deep fryer. Um Walmart has some. This brand that I'm using today that you see back here is a, a pesto. Is it pesto or presto? Presto, excuse me, presto. P-R-E-S-T-O. P-R-E-S-T-O. Walmart sells them. I don't know who else carries them. Um, they're inexpensive and they last a long time. They do really well. So that's why I use that one. I try something. If it works, I tell y'all about it. If it doesn't work, I'm going to tell you about it too. I'm gonna say that's not something good to invest in. <clears throat> Miss Graham said fried chicken. 
Look, swipe the screen away. I was trying to swipe up your comment. Hot meat. I guess I could take y'all off this for now because we are about to uh, get everything started. I'm just cutting up my onions, you all, for my greens. You like my shoes? Oh, and this dress, you all. This dress has pockets. I got this dress for under $20. Under $20 at Walmart. Now, the shoes, you know, you're going to spend about a buck fifty for them. Um, thank you, dear. But I get them at a store here in Dothan. I don't even know the, the name of that store, but it's over there, y'all, by the, uh, the Publix. It's over there by Flowers Hospital, if you live here. There's a shoe store. They sell a lot of Jordans and stuff like that, like tennis shoes, sporty stuff. Lord, I can't remember them people's uh, name, but I'll let y'all know when we go back there. I'm just rinsing off my onion. This is my pot uh, for my uh, my pressure cooker, so we're going to put everything in there. Thank you. I just want it to be comfortable today. And I had no, well, when I go to church, y'all, I'm all, I love to dance. I love to dance before the Lord. So I just had such a great time and service. Just me and Jesus, child. And the word was good, as always. Service is always good for me because I know how to receive from the Lord. I know how, hey, Kirsten from Dothan. Girl, you need to be over here helping me cook. Where you at now? Come through, come through. <laughs> but I cook next week for my church I cook first and third Sunday So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna cook For them on next week Alright, so I'm gonna do a little onion We're gonna add in these neck bones If you've never tried to pressure cook your greens I recommend that you do um, At least try it You may find out that you like it Better then letting them boil for forever. You cooking spaghetti? Hey, Miss Vont is it Vont Vonti? Hey, Monica. You like to watch me cook? Thank you. I'm gonna use all of those neck bones because my kids like to eat the meat and the, and the greens. I like the flavor. Hi, Brandon from North Carolina. I like the flavor to be in my greens, but they be liking to eat the meat. Miss Perry said, I'm cooking nothing. I wish I could feed you, because I sure would. All right, so I'm gonna take those. I'm gonna take those smoked neck bones and I'm gonna put them right here in this, uh, my little stock pot. Or not stock pot, the pot that goes in the pressure cooker. I'm gonna do that like that. Hi, Patty from Louisiana. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Amy. Hi, Wendy. She cooked collard greens and dressing. Ooh. Okay, now. Miss Wendy. Hey, Lashana. I like to watch you cook. Oh, thank you. And I do, Rhonda. I do enjoy cooking. I love it. Oh, let's put some water in the pot. Now, for the, um, let me show you. So, these are smoked neck bones with onion, okay? I'm going to let you know the seasoning, so don't worry about that. We're going to add some water. Let's grab some seasonings first. Y'all. I think I'm out of my green season. Oh Lord, please don't let it be. Oh no, say it ain't so Lord. Oh Lord. Oh, hold on y'all, hold on. Let me look over here. I think, uh. I think I may be out of my green season. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Whew. All right. Well, that's okay. That's all right. 
I still got a little bit of this left. <laughs> look at that. Look at that corner. We got a corner. But this is that Gillies I was telling y'all about. This is good, but you can get the green seasoning. It, it's not collard green. It's just green season from the dollar store. Dollar Tree, Walmart. It's real cheap. That's the one I'm looking for. As a matter of fact, this is what it looks like. It looks like this. This is exactly what it is. So you can get this in Dollar Tree or you can get it at your, you should be able to get it at your grocery store. Walmart carries it, but mine, as you can see, is empty. Because I love that seasoning. So let's add us a little water. You need to add liquid if you're using a pressure cooker. You don't need a whole lot. But because I'm going to add in my greens, I'm going to add more. So let's go ahead and add us some cool water. Hey, Shantae. Because we need those neck bones to cook. And we're going to put those on and then we'll move on to something else. Because this has to be put on first in order for me to have tender meat. So if you're not gonna eat your meat, just using it for the flavor, you don't have to do it separate or put it on first. So we're gonna add in the rest of that green seasoning. And I'm gonna just have y'all in the pot. Let me move this over like this so you all can just see the seasonings and I'll show you the, what I'm doing. Okay, let's turn it like this. Uh oh. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get y'all on the, there. All right, so we got the greens. We're gonna use some of this. This is really good as well. It took me a while to find this again. This is gonna be a good flavor to add for your greens. It's like complete. I got some complete up there. Y'all remember y'all used to call me Miss Complete because I used to use complete so much honey for my green vegetables and stuff. So I still got complete, but I, uh, I used the Sazonda as well. We do not need this seasoning at all. Um, I'm gonna use some of my adobo. And by adding all these seasonings, I won't have to add anything else once it's time for me to uh, add my greens. So whatever you're gonna add into your greens. I'm gonna do a little bit of my crushed red pepper. Just a little bit, not too much, cause that goes a long way. And I'm gonna add a little bit extra of my onion. Powder. It's onion powder in that adobo, but I want a little extra, okay? So I'm just doing an onion. I always do granulated. I don't do the powder. I don't know what's the difference. I just feel like the granulated has substance or something. And I'm gonna do two chicken bouillon. So two of these. And then we're ready to start it. Oh, that sounds good, Christina. Artichoke spinach. Hi, is it Karstein? Miss Thomas? Or Mr. Thomas? I don't know that name. Sometimes names, it's a nice name, but I don't know. I don't want to call you something that you're not. All right, let's take it over, honey. I'll take y'all too. Now we're going to the uh, pressure cooker. Looks like my thing is dirty. My camera. There we go. Was that better? It looks cloudy to me. Let me know if it's not clear enough for y'all. Let's stir it up. The only thing I don't like when I do a live is y'all can't smell it. And even worse, you can't taste it. Good Lord. That's awful. I be feeling so bad for y'all. <laughs> All right. Gonna put it on there, put it on pressure. Um, we're gonna go up to, I don't know if y'all can see that. Not an hour. I, did, I was trying to show y'all and that's not what I want. I want 40 minutes. Okay, and start, the pressure will begin to build and that will begin to cook. So while that's doing that, 
we'll work on something else. So let's go ahead and get our chicken season and our ribs. Trash, trash. Sandy, what I use, girl, what I use? I use onion powder, adobo. Uh, I use a little bit of my um, red pepper flake. The Gillies collard green seasoning. It's not in your area. It's not in your area. Aaliyah, I got your text. That's fine. Um, the camera's not facing you. What you need? I was going to say something. What you going to say? Let's grab us some water. Thank you, Lori. Don't that look good? Look at that water, y'all. All right, let's get our chicken. And we gonna season it up. What else are we making, macaroni? Okay. just gonna get this chicken <laughs> Smith said UPS okay let me see well the good news is I'm gonna go ahead and season all of this I'm not gonna cook all of it though because well I don't know what I'm gonna do because these kids they can eat they can eat they can eat Hey, Natalie. So I don't do all that in intensive whatever with my meat. I make sure it's rinsed off and that's what, what it is. <laughs> but when I'm making like, when I'm cooking leg quarters, sometimes I have to clean those. So it takes a little more. I missed your comment. Annie said, I love when Dixie, me too, honey. Me too. I have a Win Dixie and a Publix near me, but I like the Win Dixie better. Um, I don't know why. I just do the prices are just about the same. Win Dixie is not cheaper than than Publix, so when it comes to the pricing, they are just about the same. So you just gonna use two seasonings. Trust me, two seasons. I want you to try this before you knock it. Okay. Well, you ain't gonna knock this chicken. Once you try this. It's just one one other way you can make fried chicken. It doesn't have to be your main way, but it's good. So we got our Saison Goya. Remember to look for the original. They have different ones. You need this one. Okay. So you got that screenshot. And then we got our adobo. The all-purpose without pepper. They have one with pepper and they have one without. There's the with pepper and without, okay? 
So we're doing the without. But feel free to use what you like. If you like it with the pepper, go ahead. So I'm pretty generous when it comes to... I knew that was going to happen. My little thing fell out. Adobo. And for that size chicken, I use two packs, okay? Just two. We're going to add some to our ribs too. This is what gives it that color when you're frying your chicken. And two is enough. And we'll get it nice and coated. This is what I want to cook for the church. But I would need to fry. I don't have a, I need a fryer. I need an outside fryer. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. One day, one day I'll be able to serve how I want to serve. If I have everything I need and I speak it by faith in Jesus' name. I speak it by faith. All right. Now, I like to wash my hands with Dawn. <laughs> All right, let's go one more time, honey. Thank you. Press on, honey. Yeah, I know I do the press on. I think this is Jeff Bear or something like that. All right, now we're going to get our ribs together. Thank you all that come on and like and share. I do see you. Thank you for those who send stars. When I'm cooking, I can't be as attentive, but just know I see you when I go back and watch the replay, and I appreciate you. I really do. All right. I'm going to bring y'all over so we can get our real. Well, let's, let's open our real because we got to rinse it off too. So let's go ahead and cut it open. So I got the, this is the pork back ribs. Um, you could do beef, but I don't eat fried beef ribs. I don't even know how that would turn out. Um, very inexpensive, not even $9 for this whole thing. So, I'm going to cut this open. So let's come over here. I'm going to turn you all. How am I turning y'all? Let me see. I can turn you this way. There we go. So I just got a cutting board here. We're going to lay our ribs there. Get that membrane off. It's a beautiful rib. Nice and meaty, nice and thick. These are perfect. These are going to be perfect for the fried rib. All right. We need pull off that film on the back. Now that's optional. You don't have to do that. It's up to you. Okay. But that that white film thing that we're about to pull off, it does add um, a toughness to your meat. So sometimes when you're chewing and you wonder why it's so tough, it's probably because you left this part on the back. So you just want to look for a part to pull up. Sometimes it's hard to pull up. Let me see if I can get it started I may have to get these nails off my hand honey oh it's hard coming that way let me try this way but you can kind of see it see let me see there we go
See that? Just take that off. Whether you're frying them or baking them or grilling them, get that little piece off like that, okay? Real easy. Simple and easy and to the point, okay? Now we are going to cut our ribs up and season them up. Lord, did I go the wrong way? There we go. And you can cut yours how you want when you're frying them. You could do one rib each or you could do leave two together, whatever you want to do. It makes it easy when I'm serving. And then y'all know I have my infamous <laughs> oven fried recipe. If you haven't tried that, give it a try. It's in my cookbook. Very delicious, and they come out juicy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut that one in half. Let's see. We'll leave that together. Okay. Just washing my hands again. We're gonna get those seasoned up the same way we season that chicken up. We're gonna season up those ribs. I'm supposed to have y'all on the charger. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we're going to take our, once again, we're going to take our saison. y'all doing besides watching me <laughs> yeah it's delicious baked or fried you right these gonna be so good y'all uh, uh, uh. i just like to get it nice and coated Taste that flavor all the way down to the bone. You cook ribs today? Let me get y'all off this thing. I've heard people say they never had uh, fried ribs. Okay, I can kind of see your comments for a minute because I got to wash this. I got to wash my um, deep fry, you all. Hey, Genovia. Is there a lot of sodium? I don't know. My food does not come out salty. I don't like a lot of salt. I can taste salt because I don't really eat it. So when I taste something that's overly salty, mm, you know, I can taste it real good because I don't eat salty food. So if it is, you probably have to use a lot. I'm going to wash my deep fryer and show y'all what this pesto do. Yeah, Katrina, try it. Maria said she loves fried ribs. Michelle, it's about to be. <laughs> it sure is. I probably have a natural cooking uh, smell in my house that I don't even know about because cause I cook so much. But I know I can smell it once it starts going. I can smell it. That's when I go in my room and come out, shy, it hits you. It just hits you like a wall. All that goodness. Make you want to dance. 
Thank you, fellas. All right, so it comes with a little basket, of course. We need this. And then we're going to get our oil going. And I'm going to show y'all how this, these chicken and ribs going to turn out. Yeah, they are good. Hey, Lorraine. I like this little thing too, but it's easy to clean. It don't take no whole lot. I use pork. I don't. I don't. I don't like beef ribs at all, actually. And if I eat them, I have to um, smother mine. I do a smother rib. Thank you for sharing. I'm doing mixed greens. Okay, now. Now, I'm going to show y'all some of that pressure cooker. It just now started. It just now got built up to the, the pressure. Cause I can, or it's building because I can hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it yet. Y'all probably can't hear it. You cook barbecue? All right. Well, I guess I could put y'all. Let's see. I'm just going to put the oil in for the. Uh, get this to stay. I'm going to put the oil in for our chicken and gravy. Over here. You say you made turnip grains, cornbread. Um, somebody asked me about pepper steak. I do different things with that pepper steak. So with the presto, it has a little, you know, the little connector. So we just plug that right on in. And I cook my chicken on 350. It goes up to 400, but I go up to 350 for my chicken. All right, move grandma back. You making stuffed jalapeno? Okay, now, Christina. So you making spinach dip and stuffed jalapenos? You over there showing out? Leroy, I made fried wings, homemade macaroni and cheese, cabbage. Okay. There is a, a field line that'll tell you where to stop in this pressure cook. I mean, it's a, what's this thing called? Deep fryer. Again, this is a Presto, P-R-E-S-T-O. Get them at Walmart. They're inexpensive. You could probably get one under $20. This is the smaller one. I had a bigger one, or did I have a smaller one? And this is a bigger one. I can't remember. But I've only had to replace one, and it wasn't because it broke or anything. I, I just don't know what happened to it. It may be here somewhere. Ain't no telling. Tabitha said mustard green. All right, now let's get our batter together while we're waiting on this to heat up. And I can go ahead and put on, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to put on some water for our macaroni. I'm just doing stove top mac and cheese. I'm not going to bake it. At least my plan is not to bake it.
I'm craving some of my granny's hot water cornbread, especially with them greens. Okay, now, somebody said bake it. Bake what? I ain't baking my chicken and ribs. <laughs> no, ma'am. They're good baked though, but not today. Not today. 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 Salt here. Hey, Mina. Ooh, that's too much. That's why I pour it in my hand. See, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> a disaster. Hey, Sharita. Happy Sunday. You love my kitchen, thank you. All right, this is just all-purpose flour. Let me see. Am I all out of flour again? Good gracious. Good gracious of life. All right, I think this is all the flour I got. We got enough to do the recipe today, but I gotta get some more flour. I gotta, I gotta put that on my list. Thank you, Militia. Oh, I don't look cute no other day. That's what you're trying to say? Tell me, I look cute today. <laughs> um, April, it's AHA. It's A H A. AHA. A H A. I'm going to move y'all back a little bit so I can see. Hey, Hilda. I'm waiting on somebody to call me Shabana. <laughs> Who is that? Guys, give me just a second, okay? Thanks for your patience. Okay, so I put some flour in each bag. Take Bella, um, Aaliyah, take Bella. Tell Aaliyah to get Bella. Y'all should see Bella with these two big shoes on. Hi, Dor Dorothea. I'm gonna take some of my adobo only. Hey, I can't, y'all can't be louder than me. Take Bella. Hi, Veronica from Arizona. Hi, Vicky. Christine, that's your dinner tonight. Okay. Thank you, Z Marie. I'm telling you, try it, honey. Try it. Okay. Only the adobo. Ooh, you okay, baby? You all right? She feel like it. Mm -hmm. You okay? Walk, walk with uh, Auntie. Walk her back. Hey, no, here. Here, give me your popsicle. You want a popsicle? Yeah. yeah. Right now. No. This this one is peach, isn't it? No, that's lemonade. That's lemonade. I get these little freeze pops for them. Mom, why did this block? And cut them in half like that. <laughs> Here, which one you want? Here. Here, Bella. Here, Bella. And they get one of each, each color. <laughs> oh, baby. Don't stand right behind me. I can see you. Here, Bella. Here. All right, now walk her back in there. Go ahead, go back to the room, sweetheart. All right, where's the double? I set it down. This is what happens when you go live, you know, stuff just be happening. All right, so let's add our adobo. Okay. This is gonna give our crust some flavor. Ain't nothing like the skin of that chicken. It's gotta be on point. You ever bit some chicken that was bland? Hey, Linda, just no, no seasoning whatsoever. 
Hey, Brittany. It was hot and fresh, but no flavor. Thank you, Susan. All right, this is almost hot already. This water over here is boiling for the macaroni. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready. I'm just doing a basic stove top. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare something for these, uh, this stuff when it gets done, because it goes quick. I'm gonna tell you what I do. I buy those, when you get cheap pants from Walmart, they start turning colors, right? You know what I do? I just cover it with some foil. That's what I do. <laughs> I just do just like that. I ain't throwing my pan away. We gonna cover it up. Then you ain't gotta look at it. Boom. Just because something is old don't mean it can't be used. Okay. This is gonna be for my chicken. I like to prepare, so I'm not sitting here looking crazy. Once everything is ready, I'm gonna take some paper towel to catch that grease. I'm gonna lay that there like that and lay that like that. Let's do, y'all, what y'all wanna do first? Let's do the chicken first. Let's go ahead and drop some chicken. So I'm just gonna just take it and throw it right on in your, uh, let's see, this could hold about, we'll do four. Four legs, let's move this back over here. It's just the Lord, that ain't no flies been bothering us, y'all. That's this the Lord. The Holy Ghost that scared the flies away. Oh, let's say I do it too. Yeah, girl. Ain't nobody got time. I'm not going to be buying no pan every time it, it rusts or turn another color. I'm going to cover it right on up. It's still useful. Now, I don't like to let my meat sit in the flour, so this is for our uh, rib. We're not going to put it in there yet. We're just going to let that sit and marinate. And we're going to come on over here. I'm going to turn y'all that way so y'all can see both things this way let's move this over just a little bit that way you can see now y'all should be able to see okay this is boiling so we're gonna add some of our macaroni Um, that's all that needed. This is ready. Try this, this basket. All right, so we got our little basket there. I hope it's ready. <laughs> Let's try it, y'all. Let's try it. Y'all know how we try it. Drop a little, oh, I mean, a little flour now. Give it another minute or two. It fizzled up, but let's give it another minute. I'm starting to smell the neck bones. Oh, let me open my window. Oh. Y'all know when you fry in the house, it makes a smell. All right, I'm just looking at your comments while we're waiting on this oil. see nothing right now okay we're good shake off that extra flour drop it on in there
drop it in. Give it a minute, give it about 60 seconds. This gives your flour time to stick to your meat, but then you need to shake your basket, okay? I didn't do bay leaf this time, dear. All right, then I go, I shake my basket up. I don't want my chicken sticking together and nor do I want it sticking to the basket, okay? That's why I do that. Again, that's a Presto, P-R-E-S-T-O. You get them at Walmart, they're cheap. I don't buy nothing expensive. Like I said, and I will invest in something if it's worth it, but stuff like this, you don't need a $100, oh, I need a big, big deep fryer, but this is great for just cooking for your family. And that thing does other stuff to you all. Uh, that presto, it does all kind of stuff. You can steam vegetables in it and all kind of stuff. You just have to look at the booklet. I only use mine for deep frying, but you can actually use this for more stuff. You just have to look it up. I'm going to take that temp up just a little bit, slightly. So you look it up, you can see. You can see all the stuff you can do. Alright, I'm gonna take a minute and come over here. Yes, but I, I do press on nails. I don't I don't I do press on nails. So today I'm using these. Thank you, Erica. Yep, P R E S T O. I got it from Walmart. Somebody said they like the fryer. I got it from Walmart. The next time you go, just look in your uh, your section where your, your stuff like that is. You'll see it. And I purchased other different brands from Walmart, and they didn't they didn't do as well as this Presto. So I like to rinse my vegetables, so I'm gonna rinse these greens. I don't know why this thing keeps leaning to the side. My little tripod is so ghetto, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> it got that gangsta lean. <laughs> I don't usually like bad greens, but I wasn't cutting them today. So we gonna eat the stems and all today. No, Angela. Thank you for the stars, Tyrone. Angela said the stems have nurturants. <laughs> Shalita, Shalitra, uh, well, girl, I done messed your name all the way up. My God. Club, Kali <laughs> let me just not say it. I saw your comment. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't mess your name all the way up, baby. I'm so sorry. Club Tiltra. <laughs> Did I say that right? Um, it only takes about between eight and 10 minutes for legs to fry. You can go longer if you want to. You can actually cook your chicken, and this is not directed towards you, but anybody, as long as you want, okay? Some people like it uh, fried hard, as they say, things like that, but you only need about, roughly, an average about nine minutes. Tiltra, okay. Tiltra, 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 hey girl! <laughs> hey, honey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't use the wok today. And to be honest, the wok needs to be cleaned and I don't have anywhere to put the oil. So that's pretty much 
Um, I did. I did, Roland. I told that name up, didn't I? All right, I need something to put that in. I told her name up. Oh. Thank God for grace. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. What is that? That must be them neck bones, y'all. Oh, it smells good. Start getting all these smells hitting you at once. Let me get y'all a peek at this chicken. Start to turn you around. Look at that. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it? All right now. Now you watching me do it. So you can do it. You can do it. They say these greens are triple washed. But washed by who? Come on, girl. You right up the street. Tiltra. You literally right. Unless you move. <laughs> I'm only an hour and like 40 minutes from uh, Tallahassee. No, I don't reuse oil. So, I mean, I'm going to use this oil to fry this chicken and these ribs. But once I'm done with my oil, I'm done. Like, done. Thank you, Tyrone. I told y'all. Get you one of them pretzels. And they not paying me. I want you to be good. I want you to be good. Get you a presto before they be gone, too. Because, you know, they stop making all the good stuff. Well, they'll take the price up. <laughs> They know we we own the something. Yeah, I had to wash mine too. So we got a lot of stems, but they're nice and fresh. Thank God when they get a bad batch. Because sometimes these bags can be a bad batch. But I like to wash them too, you all, because I told you green stuff has bugs and stuff. You just want to make sure you're not eating any insects. I mean, they're going to be dead when you cook them. But thank you for the stars, Vicky. But I mean, I don't want to be eating, eating insects. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Marie. Yeah, you better use that saison on your pork chop. I'll slap it on any piece of meat. Fish, too, and shrimp. It's just good all the way around. It's a good seasoning. I live in Alabama. Oh, you in St. Petersburg? I ain't been there in a long time. Whew. I don't know how far you are. You further than... You further away. Okay. Just want to make sure our greens are good. Okay. Well, you got to let me know when you go. And I need to go too. My dad just visited too. He came down. He came and he flew into Tallahassee, but he came and stayed some days with me. Stayed almost a week with me. Then he went and stayed some days with uh, Brian, our other, you know, his other son. And, um, but yeah, he was in Tallahassee too. I ain't been there in a minute. Oh. Let's add this to this bowl. That chicken is just about done. Our pressure cooker is winding down so we can add in these greens. By us putting the smoked meat on ahead of time it ensures that by the time everything is done you'll be able to eat your smoked meat as well okay yeah presto don't play presto don't play it's very i've been using it for years since i started when i started on my page i was i was using presto press presto send me your number to you're gonna have to send it on my other page or you got to go to my aisha williams page and send me a message on there because I don't have messenger on my cooking page all right y'all this is about to be good that's all I know that's all I know you know how you be cooking and you just know within yourself <laughs> you know within yourself it's going to be good that's how I feel right now Um, I don't know. I, I actually don't eat pig ears and stuff like that often at all. That's why it'd be funny. I don't. I don't. I don't eat pig, feeding pig ears like that. I eat about 
three, four times a year. About three or four times a year. It's just that when I do, because it's such a, you know, it's not something a lot of people eat. That's why I do the lives or the videos for it. Or the reels. This macaroni, I don't know it's, it's about to be mushy, mushroom. <laughs> well, I don't want no mushroom. <laughs> Y'all yeah, were talking about it. I thought I used to be making macaroni. That's a mushroom. So the macaroni came out perfect. So I'm gonna let those sit over there for just a minute because we're gonna come back to this pie to make our macaroni. Um, this chicken is done, okay? I don't have to check it, but I'll cut one open so y'all can see. I sure will. I'm gonna take some of these ribs Let me see. Are you looking in your mirror? Oh, you talking to the other person? It's okay. Y'all know it's all love over here. Be kind, be kind. And be kind to the unkind, okay? It's too much Jesus to be evil. Okay, listen. I'm about to put some of these ribs in here. So we can get rid of my trip over my rug. All right, so here are our ribs. They're nice and seasoned, and I cut them already. Let's see. Four. We'll go five. And the rest of those can go together, too. Yeah, y'all know we don't do that. We don't do that over here. Let me handle them. Let me love. Let me love them on them. Y'all leave them. Leave them up to me. Y'all ain't gotta say nothing. Leave them up to me. Okay. I got them. I got them. I got them. All right, y'all. Y'all can't see. I'm gonna take this chicken out. Ooh. I'm gonna let y'all see this chicken. We're going to drop in. I have to hold my basket because I don't want it to fall. So I just shake the excess flour off and put them on in there just like that. I'm going to do five. Again, we're going to drop it down for about 60 seconds. I'm sorry, y'all can even see. I'm going to drop it down for about 60 seconds. Remember what we said? We're going to... Then shake our basket so things aren't sticking together. Tell me. 
All right. Look. No, because y'all gonna be too loud. So look at them ribs, y'all. Y'all already know where we're going with this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna show you the inside of it. Really, Bella? <laughs> Alana, go walk her back there. So hard to get this. I want y'all to be able to see. The chicken is done and it's nice and juicy. That's what you want. Okay? You want juicy chicken. Woo! Mm. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. That's all I can say. Mm. Oh, Look at those ribs. Now, it don't take long for them ribs to, uh, there's the chicken. I just beat that. I'm gonna finish that. Right. <laughs> that chicken is good. Okay. We got thirteen minutes left on the pressure cooker. And he's cooking stuff up. Tyler's birthday is Wednesday, so I'm baking him a cake. Tyler's birthday. Take her that way, but she don't she don't have one of the bottles. Take her that way. Don't. No, I put you doing uh extra. Thank you, dear. I gotta invest in another tripod, y'all. I'm just trying to make this one hang on. Bella's good. You ain't still running around. I'm trying to keep her out the camera. All right. The ribs don't take nearly as long. So let's come over here and start working on. That way you all can see both. Okay. Now that is blurry. All right. Now, this is the pot we made the macaroni in, so we're just gonna turn this on. I'm gonna put it on a medium low for now. I didn't do nothing, I just poured the macaroni out of it. The cake is for uh, Tyler's birthday. Yeah, when I make it. Wait, Mom, I don't have anything happy birthday? That's a piece of noodle in there, we need to get that up. We are. Thank you, uh, Wendy. No batter, honey, just two seasons. Yeah, I did flour. I just flour, used flour. So this is just some heavy cream. I gotta be cautious. Let me see how much macaroni I got. Okay. Child. <laughs> Might as well use the rest of that. What am I gonna do with a little tablespoon of heavy little bread? Uh, actually, when she comes out, ask her to help uh, get her in that room. Okay, so we have heavy whipping cream. Alana, Bella, I'm gonna use some Greek all purpose. That's this. You don't have to get the five pound tub. I get these off Amazon. You can get the small, the small little burrito. I have my cheeses. I have two packs of my, this one. And I have two packs of these. Aaliyah, please grab her. Okay. 
And I got some cream cheese. You want to put a little cream cheese in it? But I'm going to get this softened first. Just cream cheese. Behind you, sweetheart. All right, y'all. Let me see y'all comments in a second. It got chaotic for a minute. These ribs are ready. They done got quiet on me. Huh? I'm gonna let y'all see what. Ooh, child. I'm gonna y'all look at it. You're so silly. Uh huh. Uh -uh. Uh oh, give me just a second. Y'all see the ribs? It was all purpose. Thank you, um, Yolanda. All right, just letting them kind of. And we're going to have to do. Let y'all see these these ribs. Okay. I pushed the wrong thing. I guess I could leave y'all like that. Yeah. I need to soften the uh some of this cream cheese. I'm hot. I will bring my industrial fan in here, but um, it'll be too loud for the live. <laughs> so if you're on Patreon, that's what y'all be hearing. <laughs> that's what that noise be in the background. I got this big old fan. I'm always hot. All right, I'm going to soften up some of that cream cheese. Yes, you got to try it. Okay. Chicken. So I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna get five of them together. Thank you, Patty. So when it comes to your chicken, just cook it till it's 165 degrees, okay? If you got a little thermometer. Just do that. As you cook, you'll get better with it. Practice just makes better. It's never gonna make perfect. But you'll be able to cook it without even checking the temperature. Cause you'll just know when it's done. And then it depends on the size of the chicken too. That's why the, the times can vary. Because if you have larger chicken, of course it's gonna take longer. Like these legs are larger so than those. So this is gonna take a little longer. So it's just stuff like that that you'll know as you, you know, as you cook. Macaroni, and then we're gonna put some greens in. Wash my hands. I think I wash my hands probably a zillion times when I cook. It's just necessary. All right, I got this. Uh, let's see what I can use for that. smaller a little spatula this is some cream cheese I'm gonna add in and then I'm gonna add in my cheeses and again this is just a stove top mac and cheese nothing special all you need is a little flavor. Get you some heavy cream. The cream cheese is going to add a flavor to it. That's not necessarily needed, but it adds a good flavor. If you try to, you know, or you could do like a sour cream.
uh Clotel Tree. It's on um 300. I moved it up from 350 to three like 370 as far as the temperature that I'm cooking it on. So again, I'm just using this one, but you can use whatever cheeses that you like. Y'all ready? Y'all see it? Mmm. Mmm. Let me get a piece out the heat. Mmm. Mmm. I'm trying to get a piece. A bite where y'all can see it now. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Ooh. I done dropped a piece of rib. Mmm. It's so juicy. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to tan it out. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Woo. Mm. That's good. It's nice and juicy, too. Man. Woo. No, these are pork ribs. Well, they are, baby. They are the back ribs. I don't know if they baby back. I think it's just pork back. I'm trying to get this cheese open. This was the um this one. Okay. I don't know if I remember to check my bag. I'm going to do one more. Oh, the cheddar. You gotta try the fried ribs, honey. They are good. They are good, good, good. We got two minutes on the pressure cooker. Two minutes on the pressure cooker. So macaroni and cheese, I mean, it can be made a gazillion ways, like literally. It really can. So this is just a simple stove top. You add that cream so it'll help add, uh, melt your cheese down. Chicken is beautiful. Woo! Man. Look at it. All right, pressure cooker has stopped, so I'm gonna start this. Cheese. That's gonna be real cheesy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Ooh. That's a good combination. 
Man, this cheese is good. I ain't never used this cheese. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go back. Go back that way. Go here. Go. Bella. Go back. No. No. Get her hand. Where are we here? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Aaliyah has left me. All right, put a pressure cooker, you all. Ooh, you just want to. Try. I'm gonna show y'all that. I'm gonna let Tyler try a rib. Try one of the ribs. because my cheese is really thick, but it's really good. It's really, really good, as a matter of fact. So I will be definitely using this cheese again. I only got it today because it was buy one, get one, and I know it's a, a name brand. Hi. I don't usually do an off-brand cheese. I've tried it, and it does not work. At least I haven't tried one yet. That works. So, you know, uh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Vicky says she wants your drugs. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Walmart under twenty dollars. Walmart, and it has pockets. We're gonna throw this macaroni and cheese in the in the oven. Are we gonna be not kidding? Uh huh? You like the rib? Mm -hmm. All right, let me move this out the way so I can. Ooh. About to knock stuff over. So we'll put the macaroni in the oven. We will, I'll show you all the, uh, we'll put the greens on. And then I'll show y'all the finished product when it's done. Because so the greens are going to need another, uh, I do 40 minutes with just the meat, and then you could do between 45 and 60 minutes with your greens. It's going to depend on how tender you like them. I don't like mine. I like mine a little past al dente, so I don't like them to be, you know what I mean? Mush, mush, mush. I will take this over here. Let's get our macaroni. more cheese than what I need, so that's, that's okay though, because I can make macaroni another time, and then use the rest of my cheese. You're welcome. So I ain't getting no cheese. Let me see. Ooh, it's hot, 
y'all. When I tell y'all, you need to try them two cheeses right there. That's good. Somebody know what I'm talking about. I may need that all over, I guess. I don't know. I don't normally eat mac and cheese, but I'm gonna be eating some of this. I don't even care for it like that. You don't put butter? I do. I was opening up the butter. I forgot about it. But when I tell you this taste of this mac and cheese is so good. I don't want it to get mushy. There's that little piece of real that I was looking for. <laughs> This tastes so good. <laughs> Lord. Let me see if I have. I'm going to use some of this other one to put it on top. Hi, Felicia. Put the cheese on top, and then we'll put that in the oven. Okay, so y'all can see the before. And then you'll be able to see the after. Alright, chicken. This chicken is almost done. Let's put these greens on. I spoke too soon, I guess, about that. Here is our neck bones, so y'all can see. Ooh, they almost fell to look at them. So that's what we got in there, some neck bones. We still got enough liquid. All right, let's add these in. Hi, Miss. Is it Boa, Boeza? Good morning. You're in New Zealand. It's morning time, honey. It is 4.13 p.m. where I am. It's so cool to be able to talk to people all over the place, honey. Thank you for being here. Now, we don't have to add any more liquid to our uh, pressure cooker. And we have all the flavor in there we need. We added all our seasoning. I'm gonna get all my greens up. Okay. Thank you, dear. And we're gonna uh, put our pressure cooker back on. Mm. I can't wait till these are done. I love greens. So y'all kind of see how that pressure cooker works. I like it. It's convenient. Still got a little steam or something. There it is. All right, pressure. 
And this is a Nesco. I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. See, let's do I'm gonna do 50 minutes and boom with the chicken still looking good just moving some pieces around that chicken's just about ready. You see it? All right, you all. So I will post the finished product once everything is done. Because it's gonna be like it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. But I'll post y'all a picture. Any questions? Thank you, Felicia. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I could just eat a bowl of collards too. <laughs> Let's see what. I like the Instant Pot. Okay. Thank you, Brandon. Okay. She <laughs> said, call me when the food's ready. Okay. <laughs> you gonna eat chicken this morning? <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Dante, I don't know the size of the press though. It doesn't say. But it's the it's the regular one. Like I know they have a bigger one than this one. So I have the smaller one. They only had two. Thank you, Pamela. Hey Christina, what you need, dear? Hey Barbie. Hi, Pamela. When you mix cabbage, when do you put it in? Um, I cook the greens until they're about halfway done, and then I add my greens, I mean my uh, cabbage. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Tammy. How did you prep the ribs? We took the uh, the membrane off the back because it helps for them to be tender. Um, we cut them so they have their individual ribs, and then we season them up. I battered them with flour, and we're deep frying them in vegetable oil on 300, and it's like 70 degrees you welcome Dante thank you Vicky and I'll post the finished product I'll post it for y'all the two cheeses were by Kabat Kabat or whatever uh it's by it's this brand which I've never tried it but it's really good so this is the white one and I, I use the cheddar this is the Vermont and I use the cheddar Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Tamia. You're welcome, Takesha. Hey, Tasha. <laughs> Eric, um, I seasoned them with the chicken and ribs. I seasoned with Sazon, the original, and Goya without pepper. Sometimes I use mustard, yes. Thank you, Manya. Hey, Shavetta, tell moms I said hello. Hi, mom. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Dolores. Oh, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. I do. Carnation milk. Uh, I don't know. Kamisha said, is carnation milk or heavy cream the same? Can somebody answer that question? Because I don't know. What's upside down? Oh. These two. Hey, Cheryl. Happy Sunday. Thank you, Pam. Hey, Michael. Hola. It's the mac and cheese. Now, because... <laughs> It is, Ricky. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. I just went on and put it on in the oven. But it's going to be good because as long as your cheese sauce or cheese gravy <laughs> is good, then you don't have to worry about nothing. 
So it, it really has good flavor. Those two cheeses together, and of course I added, I only added in a few dashes of Greek all-purpose. It came out really good. It's a good combination. So try it. Hi, Marilyn from Houston. I use heavy whipping cream, Angela, for the macaroni and cheese. Bernice is smelling good. Thank you, Diane. Diane or Diane? Diane. I love you too, Christina. I do. I love you. Oh, he says, hi, my name is Zayshawn. Zayshawn. I'm watching with my mom and the food is good. Hi, Zayshawn. Tell your mom I said hello. Okay, they're saying, no, it's not. Carnation milk and heavy whipping cream are not the same. Stacy said it's good on green. Thank you, Miss Smith. I appreciate that. Thank you, Erica. Girl, it's Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. The bag I held was upside down. This one. Yes, I did. Miss Williams. Do you cook at church? Yes, I cook for my church. First and third Sunday. So I'll be cooking next weekend. So we're going to Sam's. So y'all get ready. <laughs> we got to go to Sam's and Piggly Wiggly. Thank you, Lloyd. Thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it. Okay. Look, Rob, I'm about to eat it. I'm about to finish it. Y'all notice I don't be acting up like I used to. Because I eat something, I, I run. I take off and leave y'all for a few minutes. And then I come back. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Is it is it Takana? Thank you for being here, dear. I will. Somebody asked about a cookbook. I may have missed it. Um, I don't have physical copies. Only uh, download, like the e-version e that you can download. You can print it out or you can download it on my website, cookingwithaisha.net. Oh, the chicken's good. These legs were bigger, so I was giving them a little longer. Look at it, y'all. I can't make this up. I cannot make it up. I can't even turn y'all around. I can't make this up. Look at that. Ain't no filter. Ain't no filter. Huh? <laughs> oh, first time. Thank you, Miss Lemon, for being here. Hello from Temple Hills, Miss Netta. I will, Francine. I'm going to um, post the picture. All right. Thank you, Leticia. My eyeshadow. All right, y'all. Charlotte says, do you get my messages? What, what messages? The only way I can get a, a message from you is um, if you are a friend of mine on Facebook, you have to be a friend with me on my profile. You can message me there or you can email me. I don't have messenger on Cooking with Aisha and I don't have messenger on Life with Aisha. So if you're sending me anything, it has to come through email or on my uh, personal profile. I don't check my Instagram. I don't think I ever checked a DM on Instagram. I'm sorry. I just, I don't do social media like that. I come on here to cook for y'all and to um, encourage you all in the Lord. And that's it. Share a little bit of my life. Uh, I don't get into other stuff like that. So I'm sorry. So if you're trying to holler at me or something like that, I ain't, I ain't responding. I ain't. I don't. I don't do that. Thank you, Valerie. You too. Thank you, Susan. Oh, this chicken is done. I feel it. I just felt that. It's time to take it out. It's time to take this out and move these ribs over. Uh -uh. Ain't nobody got time for no chicken. That's dry. Ain't nothing like a dry piece of chicken. Woo! It'll make you mad, won't it? All right, y'all. Let's drop some more. Um, I'm gonna drop the rest of these ribs. Hopefully, I get a notification. I hope you do too. Because I don't know how to make you get your notifications. It has to be, um, you just have to have your notifications on. I don't know. 
I don't know, honey. Just come back in a little bit. I'll definitely have it posted uh, like in an hour because the, uh, what you call it? The greens got 50 minutes. I did it for 50 minutes. So whenever that's done, I'll be able to post the picture. But I'm going to show you all this chicken before I get off here. Thank you, Erica. Hold that basket. Y'all know I don't like my basket to fall. Because it will drop down in there. Mine is a little older. Maybe if you got a new one, it won't drop. <laughs> but my, my basket will drop if I don't hold on to it. <clears throat> so I'm just dropping those ribs in there. Uh-oh. Boom. There's that chicken. There's the chicken, 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 chicken. Me and my aunt say chicken. <laughs> I'm glad your artichoke uh, dip finished. Tracy, you got to try them fried ribs. I'm trying to tell you. They so good. I don't do it often, though. Like, I, I can't eat them like that. But, uh... Fried chicken is something I could eat. If I could eat a lot of fried chicken. I mean, not a lot, but I could eat it regularly. I just shouldn't. <laughs> I ain't going to never get these 25 pounds off if I don't stop eating fried chicken, for sure. But it's like, I'm telling you, Holy Spirit told me back some years ago, I was praying about losing weight. And the Holy Spirit said, you're eating too much <laughs> fried chicken and drinking too much Coca-Cola. So, you want to see it again? You want to see that chicken again, honey? There it is. Yeah, they good. You could dip them in sauce. You could do whatever you want to do. Hey, Calvin. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, so I'm, thank you, Julia. Hey, can you still, <laughs> Christina, I think I still do have number 11. Let me tell y'all, so when I did, when I did the giveaway, <laughs> y'all was like, I want one, two, seven, eight, ten. I was like, wait a minute, you only get one thing. So I still have some items because you're only able to get one. And so Christina, yeah, email me and you can have number 11. I'm pretty sure that's it's still available because the ones that I know are taken um, is five, six, and eight, I believe, or nine. So just email me. Hi, honeybee. I've been here chat. Facebook don't be notifying y'all. But thank you for being here. Hi, John. Hey, Latanya. Thank you for the star, Sophia. Thank you for sharing, Kim. They gonna have to catch the replay because we done. <laughs> but um, I'll post the finished product to shake our ribs. Child, they looking good already. Uh, uh, uh. They looking good already, y'all. Look. Uh huh. You're going to school? Yeah. I'm going to school. Okay, y'all. It said, when are you doing it again? I've been going live pretty much. Oh, you talking about the uh, the giveaway? Well, I wanted to do it on Saturdays, but I cook first and third Saturday for my church. So this Saturday won't be, unless, I don't know if I'll be able to get it in or not, because I haven't even decided on my menu yet. 
Um, no, Miss Robinson, you don't have to boil the ribs first. You take that membrane off the back. If you watch it from when I did it on the live, um, take that membrane off the back. Because these ribs are nice and tender. You do not need... Hey, Beverly Swan. Hey, I was waiting on that. Swan. Hey, Chabana. I was waiting on that. <laughs> hey, honey, hey. Because that is my new name now. Um, so, yeah. You take that membrane off. It'll make it nice and tender. And you just fry it for about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. These, it depends on how thick or thin they are. See, these, these aren't thick. You know, so you want some? You want some chicken? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get your rib first. I'm gonna get your rib first. Eat that. Bella can eat, y'all. She can eat about two, three chicken legs. Thank you, Dale. Francine, it's the adobo and the um saison. Thank you, Miss T. Miss T. Lee. Mommy, it's heavy. I want to go take that boot bag off your bag. Yeah. What do you have in there? Um, school supplies. School supplies. Girl, go take that somebody boot bag. You don't go to school. No, you don't go to school in August. <laughs> She's so ready for school. They saying, hey, Bella. Come here. Uh, probably the greens. Look at Bella Boo. Look at her tearing that rib up, y'all. Say, Ma. Say, hey, honey. Say, hey, honey. Say, Grandma. Say, Grandma for us. Say, Grandma. Say, Grandma. She like child. She tearing that rib up. All right, go ahead. All right, y'all. I'm hopping off. Thank you for your time today. I love you guys. And I will post the finished product. And I will see you all tomorrow. Patreon, I'll see y'all in the morning. Um, and I'll see y'all tomorrow afternoon sometime. Peace.